Hey guys and welcome to How to Gastro. In today's video, we will be talking about a very interesting topic and that is the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus, which is also commonly known as the MERS virus. So let's get started. So what is the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome? Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, or MERS, also known as the camel flu, is a viral respiratory infection caused by the MERS coronavirus, which is also commonly known as MERS-CoV. The disease was first reported in Saudi Arabia in 2012, and by 2015, an outbreak of the virus occurred, which affected 180 Koreans when the infection came to Korea from Saudi Arabia. So from this definition of MERS, we get that it's also commonly known as the camel flu, and it's actually caused by the MERS virus, or the MERS-CoV virus, which belongs to the family of the coronaviruses. So the initial outbreak was reported in 2012, and by 2015, a number of Koreans actually contracted the disease and suffered greatly. So the virus itself manifests in humans as a respiratory tract infection, and research and investigation has actually discovered that the source of the virus was the camels or bats that lived in Saudi Arabia. So just a little note here, it says the camel flu or MERS mainly causes shortness of breath, fever and cough. Other symptoms may include diarrhea, nausea and vomiting as well. But the main manifestation of this disease is actually a respiratory infection. But we'll talk about all of that in more detail now. So what causes MERS? The MERS virus is spread between animals and humans and then humans to humans. But the actual source of the virus was said to come from camels and bats. So as we can see here, we have the bats which affect the camels and the camels affect the humans and the humans are actually able to give it to one another. And as we can see here, it says the bats, camels and then humans are affected. And this is the 2012 outbreak which affected many people from Saudi Arabia and then Korea as well. So what are the symptoms of MERS? So the MERS virus causes flu-like symptoms in its victims and most of these patients will go on to develop pneumonia as a secondary infection. So patients will also experience shortness of breath, fever, cough with or without blood, a sore throat, muscle and stomach pain and soreness, vomiting, and diarrhea. And patients with a more severe case may rapidly develop pneumonia. They may also experience breathing failure, kidney damage, high fevers, and even death. So as we can see from these signs and symptoms, the majority of patients actually suffer a respiratory tract infection and which could later develop into a full-blown pneumonia. And this is our worry because once the patient develops a full-blown pneumonia, it's much harder to treat the infection than in its initial stages where it's just giving the patient a sore throat, a cough and a fever. So later on, these patients may also experience kidney damage and even death because the virus actually begins to multiply quite rapidly and will lead to multiple organ failure in the patient. So how can one diagnose a Middle East Respiratory Syndrome? So the test used to diagnose this disease is called the reverse transcriptase PCR test or RT-PCR test and this test measures the amount of viral RNA because this virus is an RNA virus and the RNA is a chain of cells that carry the genetic information. And this viral RNA can be measured from samples of the patient's sputum, serum, or blood. And finally, let's talk about the treatment of the MERS virus. So there is currently no specific antiviral agent which is available for the treatment of this infection, and there is also no vaccine. Therefore, the treatment given is purely supportive and includes supplemental oxygen and conservative fluid management as indicated by clinical condition. It is also essential to provide the infected patient with a face mask and place them in a closed room to prevent any further spreading of the disease. And that brings us to the end of this video on MERS. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. Hope you found the presentation very interesting and informative. If you'd like to download a copy of this presentation, you may do so by clicking the link in the description. And please make sure you turn on your bell notifications so you'll be notified every time we have a new upload. Take care and bye for now.